Hello, my name is Adam Harwood. I'm a guitar tutor and music teacher for Thames Music. And today, we're going to be looking at Essential Chords for Beginners, Part 2. Specifically looking at three minor chords. Hope you enjoy. So before we look at our first minor chord, I'm going to do a quick recap of what we went through last lesson. So remember, the X's and circles on our chord charts. X's mean do not play the string. And the circles mean that the strings are open and you can play them. And remember, numbers represent your fingers and where they should be positioned on the guitar fret. So, with that all said, let's take a look at our first chord. Take a look on your screen. So the chord you just saw was E minor. So for E minor, it's important to firstly position our thumb in the middle of the neck on the back of the guitar. And then we bring our fingers round onto the fretboard. And remember, you want the tips of your fingers to be on the string. And then you use your hand and the muscles in the hand to push down on those tips. So, middle finger, second fret on the second string, A. Third finger on the second fret of the D string. And then just play. And there you have E minor. It will take a little bit of practice, but position your thumb until your hand's comfortable. You don't want it tight. You never want your chord tight, remember? You want it open and loose. Now, let us move on to our next chord, A minor. Take a look on your screen. The chord you just saw on your screen was A minor. And you can think of the shape of A minor as the same as E major, but all we're doing is dropping our fingers down the string. So, let's build our chord. First finger on the first fret of the B string, followed by your third finger on the second fret of the G string, and finally, our middle finger on the second fret of the D string. And remember, with A minor, we have an X above the E, so do not play your low E. Take your thumb or pick, go from the A string down and play. And there you have A minor. If you're getting a buzzy sound or not a clear sound, adjust your thumb, not your fingers. Okay. Now, let's take a look at our final chord, D minor. Take a look on your screen. So, the chord you just saw was D minor. Now, this can be a tricky chord for some students, but with practice and persistence, you'll be able to get it no problem. So, let's build our chord. First finger on the first fret of the high E, followed by our middle finger going over to the second fret of the G string. And then finally, our third finger goes on the third fret of the B string. Now, with D minor, we have two X's, not one, but two, over E and A. So remember, do not play E and A. Take your thumb or pick, go from the D string down and strum. <laughs> Again, if you're getting a hard, punchy sound or a springy sound or just not a correct, clear sound, adjust your thumb, not your fingers. So for the final part of our lesson today, I'm just going to show you a quick strumming pattern that we can do to practice your chord changes between the three minor chords. Now, if you remember, on our first part, we did four down strokes with a pick. We're going to slightly change it a little bit, but it won't be too complex. So put your E minor chord down. And with the strumming pattern we're going to do, it's down, 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 up, down, for instance. You're going to do that pattern and then you're going to change chord to the A minor or D minor. You, you can choose whichever chord you like, but I'm going to go from E minor, A minor, D minor, back to A minor, back to E minor, using that same strumming pattern throughout. Great way to practice your chord changes and also 
getting your right hand involved, not just your left. I hope you enjoyed part two of Essential Chords for Beginners and I will see you next time.